People love this video. It shows a sprinter using the technical model for speed versus a non-sprinter not using that model. Makes us feel like there's this clear association between technique and speed and we can easily understand it and know what to do about it. I would argue that the sprint mechanics picture is actually not very clear. It's pretty blurry. These are prototypical examples, but we can easily find examples that demonstrate the complete opposite. Look at John Ross running his 40. He averages right around 11 meters per second in the last 10 yards on turf, and he's using allegedly bad mechanics. Now, my point is not that technique is worthless or anything like that, but human bodies are complex and diverse, and this makes sprint mechanics a very complex topic. It's not black and white. There's a lot of gray, and coaching technique is probably more of an art than a science.